Now we're going to talk about the basic sales forecast technique. And there's one in particular that I want to talk about, which is called TAM SAM SUM. When you're looking at the rubric of a simple presentation that you would be making to someone to become a partner or an investor, you have a section that talks about the forecast. So what's the simplest way to do the forecast? It's to look at the overall number of customers that will qualify. So the total number of people that will qualify is called the TAM, total available market. So if you're selling uh, pancakes, it's all the people that would eat pancakes. If you're looking at the second group, the serviceable available market is the one that you will be focusing on. So if you're selling pancakes in Los Angeles, that would be not the red will be the total um, eater of pancakes in the US or California. And the black will be section, the, the SAM will be the people in Los Angeles. And then the service obtainable market is the SUM because in that situation, you would try to understand how many people in Los Angeles that we can capture. So you'd have to use the SAM multiplied by the penetration rate. The penetration rate is very much connected to a percentage that you think you will capture of the SAM. So that number will be very small if you have very limited resources, and it will be very big if you're one of the leader in the industry. Here's an example. This is a quantification for a project that was done by some students in the past. And the idea was to create a clinic which is specialized in mental health for celebrities. So <clears throat> how many celebrities, top singers in the United States, 40,000. How many are going to therapy, 7,000? And how many are really the top, very top, um, who have contracts with top labels, 872? And then you will have to think about the percentage penetration rate that you could get for these uh, top celebrities. So in that situation, if your clinic is well, recognize and you're going to have large investments and large uh, communication and uh, you have big connections and networking maybe you you yourself someone very famous in this industry you can have a higher percentage rate there's no formula for the percentage rate all there is is some guess estimation between All there is, is a guess estimation between what you are expecting to um, cover uh, based on the resources that you are uh, putting into this project and what's um, realistic. So in that situation, 10% is very high and it's rare, but because there were very few uh, clients, um, this clinic was a, a VIP clinic, uh, which uh, was represented by some uh, psychologists psychiatrists that were famous and already experienced, it was possible to estimate that it would be 10% or just a little bit over. Here's another example for a company that was making a cassette tape for a musician. And uh, in that situation, they were looking at the number of people that consume cassette tapes in the US, the number of people um, who are, oh, first is the number of people that actually listen to music, the number of people that listen to uh, music with tapes and the percentage share you see is much smaller is they were hoping to capture it. the first year 1% of the group of people. Here's another example is a service offered to um, concert venues, which is consists in having multiple drones and some light and uh, music effects and so forth. Um, and so how many artists in the US 2.1 million, how many are touring? and how many are touring having very special uh, effects and would be using drones and uh, some kind of uh, fireworks and so forth, 250,000. And out of these 250,000, what's the percentage that we could be capturing? And here again, you have to decide what's the percentage based on what your business is gonna do and what sort of realistic to expect that they would be capturing of that market share. The number can be very small at the beginning, but eventually for an investor, you wanna start uh, having this number go much bigger and have an explanation of, of a, why is the number going bigger and when is the number becoming bigger. 
here's um, a service again for musicians that want to start touring overseas. Uh, foreign um, artists coming to the US and US artists go overseas. So this is a database that they can have access. And here again, you have the number of artists and the number of artists who are actually coming to the US and the number of the ones that are coming to the US and looking for a venue and then you have a penetration rate. Here it was very big because this was actually presented for a very large investor that was already deep rooted in this industry. This is a vinylist, another project that was a startup project for a business that was making vinyl disc. And so people could buy custom vinyl disc as long as they had many people pledging for the same uh, repertoire of music within this um, vinyl disc. So here again, you're looking at the total number of people that listen and buy music, the number of people that actually buy uh, vinyl music, and then the number of people that are using technology in order to be buying things and buying vinyl music. So the number keeps becoming sm smaller and smaller, and eventually you have to make a guess estimation based on your plans of how many of that, what's the percentage of that large group that you would capture the first year and then the percentage for the second year and then for the third year and so forth in order to explain the return on investment and measure the type of money that will be generated. As you can see here, once you get the number of people that you project to capture, then you have the price of the product and this is how you uh, make the forecast of the potential revenue that you estimate to get.